I don't know about you guys, but I have struggled consistently over the years with being able to establish good habits, establish healthy habits, or if I have established them, I've struggled with being able to keep them for long periods of time. Sometimes I'm able to do them for two weeks, three weeks, a month, three months, whatever the case may be, but eventually I do end up falling off most of the time and going back into my old ways. This first chapter that I read in Atomic Habits actually does a good job of just laying the foundation for what it takes for you to truly make a change. And even just the title itself, it says, the fundamentals, why tiny changes make a big difference. The surprising power of atomic habits. I think that statement alone speaks volumes. What do we say as athletes? What is the first thing our coaches teach us? The fundamentals, how to dribble a basketball, how to do a layup. He doesn't have us go straight to shooting a three-pointer. These are all things that you learn before you can go ahead and get up to doing the things that you see the people on TV do. So back to the topic at hand, he talks about opening up why small habits make a big difference, but why it's so hard for us to stick to making these changes. So let's say, for example, you want to go ahead and go to the gym. You want to put on muscle or you want to lose weight. You may go to the gym for two weeks, for three weeks, for a month, but because you're not seeing the scale move, because you haven't put on any new pounds of muscle or because you haven't lost any weight, you automatically assume that what you're doing isn't working. Or for example, when you're a YouTuber, you um, say, I'm gonna go ahead and become a YouTuber. I wanna make, I wanna get a thousand subscribers my first month on YouTube. You put out your first 20 videos, you average 50 views a video, you decide, you know, I was consistent for these first two weeks, these first three weeks, this first month. I didn't get anything out of it, so I'm just not meant to be a YouTuber. It's not meant for me. But in this chapter, he talks about if you're willing to put in work for one year doing whatever habit it is that you want. So if it is recording videos, if it is going to the gym to lose weight, if it is becoming a basketball player, if it is becoming an entrepreneur, if you can get 1% every single day, if you can just stick to the task at hand every single day, at the end of the year, you're gonna be 37 times better than you were when you first started if you stick to that goal every single day. He talks about how like compound improvements can work for you or they can work against you if you decide to give up and no longer look to achieve, obtain that goal that you originally set out to get. He talks about the importance of not looking at it from an outcomes per perspective, so not looking at it like, yo, I wanna gain 10 pounds in three months, but looking at it from a system, looking at it from what do I need to do to gain those 10 pounds? Okay, I need to go to the gym every single day. That's something that I can control. I may not be able to control the outcome of if I'm gonna get those 10 pounds of muscle, but I can control the outcome of going to the gym every single day. Same thing with YouTube. You can't control if you're gonna get a thousand subscribers in 30 days. You can't control when that time is gonna come, but what you can control is the habit of doing it every single day. All of that momentum that you built up, all of a sudden erupts and all of a sudden all the subscribers start coming in or all of a sudden you start losing all the weight or gaining all the muscle, but it's not because it just happened overnight. It's because little by little by little by little by little, you were getting a little bit better every single day, a little bit better, a little bit better. Even though you couldn't see those abs coming in, even though you couldn't see your chest getting bigger, even though you couldn't see that you were gaining two subscribers every single day, over a course of time, okay, at first, this first week, I'm only getting two subscribers. The next two weeks, all of a sudden, I'm getting three subscribers each week. Then after that, it's starting to get up to six, it's starting to get to seven. Although you're not seeing it because that number is still small, it's slowly getting a little bit better every single day. And I wanna read to you guys something that he says at the, at the end of this chapter. He says, if you're having trouble changing your habits, the problem isn't you, the problem is your system. Bad habits repeat themselves again and again, not because you don't want to change, but because you have the wrong system for change. You do not rise to the level of your goals. You fall to the level of your systems. Focusing on the overall system rather than the single goal is one of the core themes in this book. It is also one of the deeper meanings of the word atomic. Habits are like atoms in our lives. Each one is a fundamental unit that contributes to your overall improvement. At first, these tiny routines seem insignificant, but soon they build on each other and fuel bigger wins that multiply to a degree that far outweighs the cost of their initial investment. They are both small and mighty. This is the meaning of the phrase atomic habits, a regular practice or routine that is not only small and easy to do, but also the source of incredible power. 
a component of the system of compound growth. So there you guys have it. I wanted to go ahead and just talk to you guys real quick about the importance of just habit stacking, taking things one day at a time, understand that, you know, you're not gonna see the results right away, but give it time, those results will come slowly but surely. Let me know down in the comments if you do enjoy these types of videos and I'll go ahead and bring you guys some more. I'll see y'all in the next video, I'm out.